Hello everyone, welcome to the ninth video in the devlog series. In today's video I added a new world, new levels and much more. Before I begin with today's video I want to announce that we have officially reached 950 subscribers. I want to thank all of you for helping me reach this goal. Now let's try and reach 1000 subscribers by the end of the week. Now let's try and reach 1000 subscribers by the end of the week. If we reach 1000 subscribers, I will do a special video just for that. It might be a face review, that's all I'm gonna say for now. So if you enjoy the content, you can subscribe because that helps me a lot. Also, turn on post notifications so that you will never miss a new video when I upload. One last thing that I want to say before I begin with the video is that we have new fan art for today. Well, it's not really new, in fact, it's actually the oldest fanart on my server. Here's the reason why I didn't add it. This fanart is made by Lamadev. He was forcing me to show it, please someone stop him. FBI arrest him. My eyes, <laughs> they are bleeding. Jokes aside, this fanner is pretty funny, so yeah, thank you Lamadev, really cool. Alright, now without further ado, let's begin with today's video. The first thing that I added this week was actually a whole new buy. Yep, you heard me right. Yep, you heard me right. I actually made progress, which is really progress if I say so. As you can see the new world is at first pretty weird. The only colors are black, white and red. The black parts are the walls and the floor. The white parts are platforms that you will have to jump on just like a parkour game. And the red part is lava, so if you fall down you will immediately die. This new world will have more parkour and less action, similarly to Mirror's Edge. Except Mirror's Edge has good movement, unlike the best game, Beaness. The first thing that I did was to block the levels with black walls. After that I added a platform for when the player appears. After that I added the platforms and made them white so that you can tell they are plat platforms. After I added the platforms, I added lava that kills you if you touch it. The lava takes 100 HP. I also added small closed parts in the level. In these parts enemies will spawn. Just don't expect many of them cause I don't plan on adding a lot of enemies in these types of levels. These types of levels will mostly have parkour parts. After that I added red objects that will make platforming harder, cause at the moment it's pretty easy. These blocks will act just like lava, which means that they will kill you if you touch them. There will be different type of block layouts. The first, one, the first one is the most basic one. You just have to jump over it, which is pretty basic. After that, I added a layout that has two blocks. The first one is down and the second one is up, which means that you will have to jump in the middle to survive. The final block is a moving block. Points. I set two waypoints. The block will for example go left and right or up, it will depend on the level. I also wanted to decorate this world, so I got an idea to place objects from the factory and make them float. I got this idea from a game called Control, which I recently played. In Control you will see floating people, which I thought was pretty cool and spooky. 
So yeah, now every level will have floating objects, which I find to be really spooky and cool. After I added all of that, I started working on the 6th level in the game. This level will also be in the same biome. But for, but for this level I wanted to make something different. That's why I added the red wall behind you. When you spawn, the wall will start following you at a slow speed. This means that the player will have to play the level at a faster pace. Cause if he doesn't, the wall will touch him and he will die. As you can see the wall is working properly. What the... As I said the wall is working properly. I really like this mechanic. I will probably add it in the future levels. The final thing that I added this week was a new model for the enemies slash turrets that will only shoot and will not move. I made this model using Pro Builder. It's nothing advanced but at least now you can tell what is a turret and what is a moving enemy. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that there will be two different types. One that is smaller and has less health, and one that is bigger and has more health. Before I end the video I want to announce that I have my own Discord server. On the Discord server you can talk about game dev, about my channel and much more. If you want to send fan art, for me the best way is Discord. The invite to the server will be in the description and in the comment section of this video. Thanks for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe, cause that helps me a lot. And plus, we are trying to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of the week. Stay tuned for more uploads, and until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.